Today we are going to be doing something a little different. Um, we are going to be doing playing some brawl, or sorry, historic, not brawl. <laughs> um, historic elves. Um, here I can, and I can uh, see the the step. Um, it's got a more as a companion because why not? If the deck's all creatures anyway. It's got Lana Wells because it's an elf and ramp. Pelt Collector because it's an elf. Wildwood Checker, it's an elf. Clan Color, it's an elf. Lord, Elvish Visionary because Elvish Visionary is good. Uh, Growth Chamber Guardian because it's just good um, things to grab. Oh, wait, and it's an elf. I missed that it was an elf. <laughs> it is, of course it's an elf, Dana. How do you not know every elf? Because this is more of like. Just the little different cards. I never need. Yeah. But then this, and then Paradise Druid, because it's Paradise Druid. And Paradise Parker, it's a lard. Steel of Champion. Steel of Champion is just super powerful. Is Yorvo true. is the only non elf in this deck because I'm playing um, multiple, multiple elves. Or green creatures, sorry. AKA elves. That will make Yorvo super big. Um, and then I've got a Beast Whisperer for some card draw. And then there's an Umori because it's all creatures, why not? And then for the sideboard, um, there are three heroic interventions for decks with like lots of sweepers, two ranthers for aggressive decks, Skirk Harbinger for like black aggressive decks, four Rex Sages for enchantment stuff, then Rex Sages is a uh well elf um and then three thrashing grantodons um it's a little funky of these uh but pasico says huzzah, huzzah. thank you pasico for joining us glad you could make it yeah. and then thrashing grantodon against aggressive decks and decks with a lot of enchantments because thrashing grantodon is big so it stops the aggressive decks yeah. Cheap and big, so for, to stop the aggressive decks, and then it can destroy enchantments as well. Oh, and did you give a shout out for the list, Dana? Oh yes, uh, Luca Jack. Uh, thank you, Luca, uh, for the list. I love it. We did some a little bit of play testing. We won both games. It went very fast. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna go fast, didn't it? It was pretty good. Yeah, no. Thank you for for offering to make this list and. Uh, you know, we're giving it, trying it out. We'll see uh, how it goes. I think Luca might be joining us too, Dana. Yeah. He mentioned that. Um, yeah, Lu Luca. For those of you who don't know, he made number seven in Mythic, I think, last uh, season in Historic. So definitely knows his stuff. So. Yeah. All right. And he's a fellow kid too, a little uh -huh. older than you. Yeah. Wait, now, do you, Dana, do you want to do best of one? Do you want to do best of three? What do you feel? I like? best of three. Okay. Let's try it. Let's play. And this deck is very capable um, of doing turn four kills. Very capable. I'm on the play. I'm on the play first. Well, this is a hand. Oh boy. Those are some land of else. <laughs> Will Ready Room says good evening. And it's multiple Lanoir elves, so it's. Lanoir Will also elves. says Mono Green Stompy Stomp. I like it. It is some Mono Green Stompy Stomp. I'm gonna play a Lanoir elves. Okay. All right. That was a nice draw. No matter where else, for some more ramp. Because <laughs> I have two lands. But it's fine. Oh, I PGH Runner, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Gave us a nice Nissa High emojis. Yay. Okay, but bye bye either Imperius. Yeah, Imperius, bye bye. That's fair. Okay. But. I do have a steel leaf. You do. The big boy. Wildwood Shocker Land of War Elves as well. Okay. 
Empty your hand, basically. My hand is empty. You know what? Tap because I have to tap and then who cares? All right. There's no downside. Sounds good. Dog like toweling. Am I a Triton? Well then. This attacks. Do I just all in? That seems reasonable. Can only block one thing. Pastico says most nice. Most of them are one ones. Yeah. He probably trades with the wild with the doctor. Takes eight. And then I play another Steel Leaf, and you're dead next turn if you don't have anything. Yep, you're dead. Okay. All right. Um, this. And is Luka Jack is here, Dana. Uh, hi. Hi, Luka. He asks if uh, you're liking the deck. Oh, I love the deck. Okay. I have no idea what they're playing. Some black red something. Yeah, it was like black red. Would you say it was more aggro or control, or what? Do you, what would you say? I saw one card. I think you saw at least two. There's agonizing remorse. There's uh, a minor yeah. triton. Not much. I so what do you think? What do you think goes in? I think the Gareth's hard. Yeah, yeah. Luca agrees. Pasca says good game. Luca also suggests the Brontodons. That seems reasonable. Yeah. Hmm. And what do you think comes out here? My least favorite part. But I, and also I, I would think the adult choice, but Yeah, maybe maybe the Beast Whisperer. Um oh Lucas says they could have cat oven. Mm. Great reason for the Brontodon. And it looks like from what he was saying too, often like, you know, the Paradise Druids or something that could probably go. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe, hmm. what do you think else? Maybe like, visionaries. Okay. Yeah. And just try like that maybe, I, I can, I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh and my god! Thank you, the Brad, for the subscription. Oh, that is very exciting. The Brad, you're our very first subscriber. subscriber. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Did the uh, pop up go okay, Dana? Yeah, it did. Okay, I even missed that. I got too caught up in the excitement. Thank Once you very much. Once I heard much. it, I looked over on the corner. Bye. All right. This hand looks fine. PGH run, thanks for the, the hype there. Oh, very, very, very kind and generous of you, the Brad. Okay, now we're seeing some aggro. Yeah. The Brad says, glad to support. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they're kind of coming out swinging here. They are. At least I have a growth chamber guardian. Or I don't. <laughs> you did. I did. But now I do have a steel leaf champion. That's true. How do I like my big boy? Well, you could potentially deal with it, you know, Dana. Oh, no, no. Or they don't, Daddy. Okay. You see? So building up first. Okay. Do I attack? I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, there's kind I think of a I lot. just play Garrix Harm with Ninja. It's Hexproof from Black. Too bad it's not protection from Black. I know. Um, or, do you do a Gross Chamber and a Clan Collar? So you can do good... Blocks on the front, bone crusher. Sure. Um, uh, 
I don't think I attack so though. It's up to you. Nope, okay. No fun. No fun at all. Non, non creature, non land. Well, my deck is either a land or a creature. <laughs> okay, so at least that part will whiff, right? Yeah. And I don't have so anything good. that cares about the graveyard. So. Okay, interesting. Get your supplier. I think I block. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think Garrick Sarbinger. Yeah. I know, David. It's easy to get in a groove, right? It is, though. No. Attack. Yeah, remember that Castle Garen Briggs good. Yeah. It's like extra mana. One extra mana. That one can be key. Okay. How do you like my four three? tough. Because he can activate both of them. He can. And he can kill whatever you block with. Do I just block with a growth chamber guardian? I don't know. They get You get a lot of advantage out of that. Yeah, no block. No blocks? Okay. play those. You could also play the Brontodon and bring in Amori to your hand. Uh, or Brontodon and activate Growth Gross. Oh, you know what? You can actually, I think you can do all of that, right? If oh, you tap yeah. that. Yeah. But Will says the Harbinger has protection. Why no block? The Harbinger doesn't have actual it's protection hex -proof. is hexproof from black, unfortunately. It would be so good if it had protection from black. I, I made that mistake too, though. And then this. Yeah. I don't think I attack. Or do I attack with this? I mean, this has death touch. It does have death touch. Annoying. I know. Your call. I think no attacks. Okay. It's time for some gummies. Is that your favorite snack, Dana? Maybe. <laughs> hey, I love them since I was old. It's really tiny. Ah, uh, this is true. Do you need help opening them though? No, I got it. Okay, excellent. I just have to find the right area to open them. Now how big can those become? Well, you can activate that twice. Or one on each. So, I think maybe block with this and this. <laughs> Will says no marshmallows today. We don't have any marshmallows left. <laughs> I think Dana ate them all. 
No, say to use the rest That's of That's your say to use something. Well, do you, do you want to, but if you do that, he can just make sure it lives. Or do you want to throw a bunch of stuff to make sure one of them dies at least? Maybe you throw a bunch of stuff to make sure one dies? That one will die. Well, hold on. No, 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 because you can pump it twice. Oh. Um. Maybe the tracker? And then no. this here? Yeah, okay, I can see that. I mean, you can do some stuff, but you can't do all of it. Well, actually, he can, because he does death touch Dana, actually. Oh. Uh, yeah, he can. Yeah, I think maybe it would have been good just to block the one. Yeah. Well, getting rid of one was good. Okay, let's think through this now. Land. Okay. And I think I'm gonna do Grove Chamber, get a Mori to my hand, Grove Chamber Guardian, activate it. Or can I do all of that? Can you? Let's see. I don't think you can. No, but I can. You can do that. Okay, that's something. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that was not nice. Uh-uh. I'm not sure anything's going to save you, sadly. Yeah, Will says, ouch. Ouch is correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. OK. I'm looking for new minions. Care to volunteer? Get out of my way already. Yeah. OK, well, game three. Okay, what do you think here? Ram through? I was kind of thinking the ram throughs to deal with those knights might be pretty good. Now, Amori needs to come out when you do the ram throughs in, though. Dana? What? The Amori needs to come out the way the um, companions work. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Abram joined. Hi, this is my streaming account. Hey, Abram. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Abram, happy birthday, right? Yes, happy birthday, Abram. <laughs> and Lucas says it's pretty bad when we don't have a great curve. This is true. OK, so what do you think, Dana? What? Uh, I have no idea what to take out. I do like the ram throughs. I mean, since he didn't have a whole lot, uh, maybe the Brontodons, because he might not. Uh... Will says maybe bring in heroic intervention so you don't die to death touch. Mm. That could make some sense. What do you think? Yeah, maybe. Oh, but not Paradise Jewel. The card next to it. Yeah. And then take out one. For SUP. Okay. I could see that. Do you want to try like that? Any other? No, I like this. You like that to have some uh, more interaction? Yep. Okay. Let's try it. Yeah, Abram, as you can see, Dan played a couple of uh, ma matches of uh, Historic Elves this morning, but still pretty new with the deck and trying it out here. I think this could be fine. I mean, it's one land, but I do have this. Okay, let's see. 
Luca says we can keep. Yeah. We trust Luca. Yeah, we do. So PJ River says, hello, Dana. I would like to know if you're paid as a Channel Fireball player. Nice to see you on Twitch. Am I good? Uh, as the channel? <laughs> Not the channel. Um, Dana gets uh, some offset of some expenses going to tournaments. Um, it's sort of her sponsorship with Channel Fireball, but it's not anything, like, without the tournaments, there's not, like, anything too much official, although we like those, you know, like everyone there, and it's uh, a bunch of good people there. Yeah. Gex Habinger. Okay. That seems good. Oh, Abram also agreed with the key, so... If we have Abram and Luca on our side, I don't think we can go wrong. Yeah. Luca says, even if we don't draw land for a few turns, we're still fine. And yeah. But we do the land. We do the land, yeah. So that means we're way fine. Will says, if the heroic intervention does good, I'm going to buy myself marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> marshmallows and gummies. Are those the official snacks of the channel, Dana? Yeah. Marshmallows and gummies. But today, unfortunately, I do. Hold on, four. Let's see here. Or do I ramp through the uh, Knight of Advent Legion and attack? Well, but if you do, couldn't you activate it in response? Oh, yeah. Do you attack and wait for him to activate? Oh, yeah, it's an instant. Maybe? Like. Yeah. That could be an option. Or do you build your board or. Attack. Abram says attack. I like attacking with the Harbinger. What about the Grip Chamber, too? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Luca agrees with that. All right, Dana. Now you have Luca, Abram, and me all in the... Uh... Well, you don't matter. <laughs> okay, but you'll listen to Abram and Luca. Yeah, but you don't matter. Fair. So harsh. Yeah, he's Isn't probably... He nice? yeah. He's probably not. Oh, yeah, response. Yep. Uh, so PJ River asks, uh, does Dana train with some famous pro players? If so, which ones? I do not. Well, no I, I mean, I did a little bit with Efro. Yeah, there, there isn't really any, uh, like, formal training or anything like that. We're friends with a lot of them. Um, Efro coached Dana. Uh, Eric Froelich coached Dana uh, a few times. Um, we've gotten some tips for some people like Reed Duke, um, Ross Miriam, um, but no, nothing formal training. Um, well, I can get something from the Gats Harbinger. Oh, I see. You want to kind of see there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, you have the claim caller too. You can play. Yep, I think that was it. That can make sense. I think I'll play that. Okay. Now I want to land. Well, the Elspeth's Nightmare whips at least. Yeah, it does. I don't have many non creature spells. <laughs> Rocket Man says, hey, I'm super excited to see you streaming. How long have you all been doing it? About a month. Yeah, I think it's been about a month. Yeah. It took a while to get sort of set up, but during the pandemic when there aren't the in-person events, at least yeah. uh, it was something to, uh, to focus on. Yeah. Ooh, what do I discard? Good question. What do you think? Maybe the Yarvo? Okay. Ah! Oh, that was key. Why attack? Yeah. And thank you, by the way, Rocket Man, for the uh, kind words. Ooh, I think I take the 
pelt collector or the animal elves? What do you think? Pelt collector. Okay. Steelix champion. It's definitely yeah. Steelix yeah. champion. Because you're looking to just win. Basically make them dead. Yep. I'm looking to win. Fair. Hmm. Winning's a good thing. Winning is a good thing. Rocketman says, I've been thinking about streaming with my daughter, too. We'll love to tune in whenever I can. I can see the apple will not far, far from the tree. Cool. Well, I hope it works out really well. Um, you know, if you have any questions about it, I'm, we're by no means experts, but especially, you know, there aren't a lot of, like, parent-child uh, streaming <laughs> pairs and all that. But if you have any questions, feel free to uh, hit us up separately, and we can happy to talk offline. Yeah. When you send a message, for instance, through uh, through Dana's, you know the the Discord's an interesting. Rocket Man asks, "Sure, do you have a Discord too?" Um, there's a lot of interesting challenges <laughs> being under 13 and being online, and so we're kind of working on figuring out the Discord aspect of things. So uh, we don't have one yet, um, but we're kind of figuring out the best way to do that. Um, Sometimes it can be hard being at the back team. <laughs> yes. It's very hard. Abram says getting a stream ready uh, takes like an hour. Um, this is from someone who streams starting today, which is true. I think the actual getting stuff set up, if you have the right equipment, um, isn't, uh, isn't really too, too bad. It's more the navigating depending on like your daughter's age. If she's... 13, then it shouldn't be a problem. If she's under 13, you gotta be a little bit careful with some things like, like we have here, so. I'm almost double digits. Yes, but that's still not 13. Yeah. Go ahead. And I'll put, uh, Rocket Man, I'll put Dana's Twitter in here. So, if you if you go and find there, you can send us a, a message on that. If you know if you had any questions, and it was easier to it's easier to talk offline on some of that stuff. I think I keep. I like this hand. Okay. And Rocketman says, "Ha, I do have marshmallows." Okay. That's a good thing. Marshmallows are good, right? Mm-hmm. It's fourth, baby. Going to be doing some s'mores later. Ah. My sister does a lot of s'mores with her friends. Or she, she goes hiking with one of her friends, and picks up some sticks, and then um, we do s'mores. Or, and then they do s'mores. Sometimes I'll join in if I'm not busy. What do you think here? I think it's land beats whisper brer. Okay. Hope it lives. Yeah, hope it lives. Or it doesn't get countered. No essence scatter. Okay. It's not an essence scatter. It's not an essence scatter. Will says, oh god, thanks Rocket Man. Now I want some more. <laughs> I know my well, it did live and it didn't get countered. But, and that, that's I think I play it, I guess. <laughs> sure. You wanted to bounce my beast whisper, dude? I guess it did delay me a turn. Goodbye. Let's try this. This might be like a Just Guy Fires type deck. Oh, come on! Okay, now they killed it. <laughs> Unfortunately. I think I'd do Yorval, actually. Okay. They also could have done Shattered Dis... I guess if I cast a creature, I get a card out of it. No! I am not making this up as I go! Lucas says his deck seems weird. Probably some Jeskai Walker's deck. 
Fair. The Rocket Man says, well, even better. They're chocolate-infused marshmallows, so I don't have to worry about it as a, as a mess. <laughs> the chocolate-infused marshmallows, Dana. How does that sound? Yummy, Daddy. Very yummy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. You got the fairy? Only time will tell. I did. Oh, play well or else. That's something. Will says, I'm making Homer Simpson drool noises. <laughs> and Rocket Man says, we did a test run earlier. Look at this, Danny. You created all kinds of stuff with those marshmallows. Hey, I didn't have them today. Not today. Someone just broke But the other up. day. When you're string stringing with Abram, right? And... Ooh, shark tank and hard cast. Oh. Does that anymore? Nobody no does pony. that. Apparently, he does. Okay, how much mana do you have here? Five. I could go steal. Yeah, Lucas turn. says, "Wow, that's bold." <laughs> do I just attack with these two? Well, do you cast anything first? Or do I do an Imperius Perfect? Ooh, I kind of like that. Imperius Perfect, and then I was visionary afterwards. Yeah, in case they have another keeper or something. At least we get the card out of him. Will says he might have a shatter. Yeah. yeah. This is fair. Rocketman says, so historic, yes? Is that your preferred format? Um, I don't have a preferred format. I mean, um, I've been doing limited. Um, from all of my streams so far, I decided to mix it up today. Um, I might do some standard. I found this um, very ramp deck that um, blue green Vista even ramp deck. Ooh, yeah, you know, we just kind of started doing this, and so far on the stream, it's been mostly limited. Um, mm -hmm. We're talking about doing some historic elves, and then uh, Luca, who's here, Luca Jack. He uh, offered to do a, uh, put together a historic elves list. So thank you. And we're trying that out. I think I actually just all attack him. Seems fair. Except maybe the Imperial Very can do stuff. Sure. Or, I don't know that but he can, he can do a bunch of things. I want Imperial is perfect to die, Daddy. Yeah. Yeah, he's phasing out the... <laughs> that looks kind of funny. It does. I thought he would like have it like a little mist. Thing. <laughs> like a... Abram says, Rocket Man, if you're going to stream, do limited. <laughs> I think I want to kill Flying Shark. Okay. Well, okay, what then do you think he could have just blocked him. Oh, he could have done him. it differently, but still. Okay, what do you think here? Steely so what and Glass let's, Chamber let's think here. So what, what is the problem? Uh, to fairy? Well, no, what could cause you to lose this most easily? A sweeper. Right. So, so maybe a more... Lucas says growth cham chamber so we can beat Shatter. Yeah. I totally agree. Uh, wait, and can you do castle? Yeah, I think you can. But I could, but I don't, I don't want it. Do. Okay. All right. And then Ooh, activate. Right? Or no, not activate right now. Save it, you think? Yeah, I guess I can save it. You can save it. Okay, either way. Yeah. Although he is a bit, um, he's definitely, he doesn't have a ton of mana. So you could do it now, because like the fairy can do things, just so you make sure to get Get it? Okay. Getting that end turn. Okay. So uh, Rocket Man says, I have two accounts right now. I'm trying to build up some gold on that second account and use that for our joint account. Oh, very cool. Yeah, Dana and I each have our own account, so we're 
This is all on Dana's account. Well, the family's account. No, 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 the arena is your account. Oh, arena. Yeah, the Twitch channel is the family, but arena is yours. It gets a little complicated. Yeah. My dad has an arena as well, but... What wrote? He's gonna make a 7-7 seven, seven and inspire SSA is together. here. SSA says, what's up? SSA is Sam Goldman, by the way, Dana. I didn't know that was the account. Ah. <laughs> Lucas says, no! We can make it, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Making a dude, making a dude, making a dude, dude, dude. SSA says it's been a while. Yep, well, good to have you. Yeah. Okay. Yorno can get in there. He's an A-Day. Yeah. <laughs> There's everybody with the... Well, let's see. He can go block, block, block there. Oh, everything that's can in there is dead. Can Teferi face somebody out? No. No. He's dead, and I'm going to... It would seem that way, yeah? I have to attack the perfect, but, yeah. Okay. It's perfectly fine. Real. You come up with that one yourself? Yeah, I did. It's better than your dad joke. Mm. You can think that. They All right. Play. Now, boarding, what do you think? It's a very controlly deck. What do you like coming in here? A rogue intervention. Yeah, I think so, right? With those shatters? Three of, all three of them, actually. I think so. And Beast Whisperer is actually, I think, good because it okay. helps. Like, drop some cards. Yeah, Will also agrees, Heroic Intervention. Yeah. It's good to have that card back, huh? Uh-huh. What do you think in terms of coming out? Maybe the Paradise Druids. Okay. SSA says, what about Garrick? I don't have Garrick. Right, I, I, I think uh, SSA probably just saying, you know, what about adding Garrick to the list? Uh, yeah. Lucas says Harbinger could actually be good here. Uh, I can see that. Some nice advantage, right? Mm -hmm. Nice card advantage. Some. Oh, 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 SSA was talking about the Harbinger, not about Garrick himself. Oh. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know, I think, I think the Beast Whisperer might be a little on the slow side, given things, like, there are ways to remove it. Yeah, maybe. That. So. But what else to take out? The worst part about sideboarding <laughs> is having to take I agree. Out. I agree, that can be tricky. Well, you only have a couple, how about, quickly too, Dana, because you're running out of time a oh, little bit. Oh, yeah. Maybe, like, just to take out just two things. Uh, a couple of your foes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's tough when you're not used to it. Yeah. No. Oof. I like this. Okay. Oh, but I don't want to bottom anything. Maybe the clan caller. Okay. SSA says I would cut Pelt Collector. Mm. Could have been reasonable. Will says this is a rogue list I can get behind. I might actually see what I'm missing to build it. Oh, very cool. We had a. Um... Right. Yeah, Luca, I know it was your list. Do you want to. Uh paste in the, the deck list here? Or, or do you mind if I paste in the link to the deck list? Or it's totally up to you. Oh, you already did it. Awesome. Thank you, Luca. 
Yeah, definitely the credit for the list and a lot of the play text goes to, uh, uh -huh. to Luca. How are you liking the, the deck so far, Dana? It's, it's really good, thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, I'm known for my excellent timing. I'll protect you. I think I just do a stealing and mm -hmm. kill Barry. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to say you just go for Conan. Maybe you should have seen that coming. But it's not that much damage. I don't know. I can make an argument either way, though. Mm -hmm. Sam asked Luca, what would you cut in this matchup? Yeah, that was definitely tough. I think I do an Imperius Perfect and attack the uh, Teferi. Okay, an another option. Um, I was attacking him. Well, you could attack him. The other option would have been Clan Taller and hold up for heroic intervention. Ah. In case there's a shatter. So, Lucas is both at Teferi. Yeah. Yep. Make sure Teferi dies. Otherwise, you can just phase something out. Mm, they're gone worse. PJ asked to receive gifts from wizards. Oh, there's the shatter. We haven't gotten anything from wizards explicitly, although they're definitely very cooperative and all, all that kind of stuff. And are, uh, they can, oh, they've given Dana some preview cards. Yeah. Beyond that, um, oh, oh. Lucas says pass, actually. Oh. So you can kind of do that. Yeah which I could totally see. Um, beyond that, Wizards has also uh, said, though, this is another thing where the whole being under 13 comes into play. It can be hard being under 13. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not really able to do a lot of things because um, it kind of runs into some legal gray area, I guess. So there's a few, th they, wow. they've sort of been honest with us about that. Okay. Now here's where I don't think you play anything. Right? Mm -hmm. So you're kind of holding up to do some adapting a heroic invention or something like that. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Okay, maybe it, we're adapting. Hope it lives. Get bounce. Or killed. Yeah. Imperius perfect, I think. Okay. And bad? I'm trying, yeah. Oh, wait. Lucas has just run out the creatures now. Oh. I've got it. Yeah, you, you have kind of used a lot of the removal at least. Oh no, it won't protect from that. That's unfortunate. Dorvo, clown. Oh yeah. Sorry, Luca mentions we can't play intervention because of the fairy. Yes. You're dying says, oh yay, quality options. It's not going so well, Dana. Nirdain says, I wasn't able to see this stream before. I'm happy I can now. 
Awesome. Well, good to have you joining us. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. Sam says, I think we're playing on borrowed time now. Yeah. Intervention. Too bad. So bad. Oh! Oh, come! Oh, thank God for the long time. Okay. Will says Teferi is so busted. Doesn't matter what colors you're playing, he makes you with zero interaction. It's so harsh. Yeah, Lucas says yikes. Okay, but that wasn't as bad. Lotus Miller says, deck needs more green cards. Uh, Do you agree, Dana? There are only green cards. You've got some forests for green cards. Uh, only. <laughs> then I couldn't cast the green cards. Yeah, card. that's a problem, isn't it? He's hard casting the shark. <coughs> Whoa. Sorry, I'm late. Here we go. Now, Luca was saying, kind of cutting some of the slow stuff <clears throat> might be a uh, might be a good plan, which I think is what a lot of what you were doing. Yeah. By cutting, Beast Whisper. like Beast Whisperer uh, and some other stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Especially on the play, Luca says. So it's definitely some. You could cut a uh, an Imperious Perfect. And bring in something. If we're looking at some of the stuff that's a little slower. Maybe that. A paradise druid to ramp up, or another Gorvo to just beat down, maybe? Probably our color, actually. That might be reasonable. Luca, what do you think? Any. Uh, Comments from the expert here, or does this seem pretty reasonable? You are on the play, which is going to help. It is. For just getting stuff out there. So, I think that's that's pretty good. Will asks, Luca, would you run Questing Beast in this? Well, the idea is it for, for it to be pretty much all elves all the time. Well, your elves in there. But Questing Beast is good. I mean, I think my view is, you know, with a lot of this stuff, it's just turbo aggro really quick beat down. But Questing Beast is a yeah. very, very good card. Rocket Man says it's hard not to include Questing Beast in anything green. Lucas says, no, we don't need it. We don't really want a four drop in the deck. Yeah. This is kind of just about beating down more quickly like than that. Beast. All right, let's go with this. They're way higher, or no, they're just so good. 
Lotus Miller says this is historic. Yes, we're playing some historic yes. uh, elves. Elfie doo doos, elfie doo doos. And Luca Jack is in the chat. He was kind enough to provide a uh, cool list and some tips. Yep. Dana tried it out a couple of uh, matches this morning and decided you want to do that on stream. At least for a little bit. Maybe mm -hmm. you'll keep doing this for a while. Maybe switch it up. We'll the see. standard. I'm just going to play all my one drops. Okay. One drop. One drop. One drop. Yeah, you have a follow up with Imperial is perfect. Yeah. Near Dine asks Is Carnage timing too slow for historic or just not enough of an elf? Carnage. Tyrant. Well, the idea is it to have a bunch of cheap things. Yeah, Luca, Luca says too slow. <laughs> Nirdine does say, I like to think Carnage Tyrant is just a bunch of elves in a coat. A bunch of elves together. Yeah. And Luca, Luca liked the one drop line. can. They don't have the mana for the, the shadow, at least. No, and they won't for a while. Beady, yeah. mick, mick, beady down. Well, one more turn after this one, but yes. And then I'll have Baroque Intervention up. Call the day of that. That was unfortunate. <laughs> Why do they have to have yeah. so many sweepers? Rocketman says, this is a hope they don't have Shatter time if I've ever seen it. Yeah, well, we haven't seen the Clarion yet, but it, it's fair that it could have been guessed. Walter well, Miller asks, what's the green enchantment in the Ascanta cycle? Growing rights of it, Hitlamoth? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I think that's the one. Is that worth considering? I don't think so. I don't think I just... Want to save this? Okay. Yeah, I think the growing rights is a little on the slow side for what this deck is trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, it is got his cradle with upside, and, and definitely if it gets going, it can be pretty powerful. And Luca says it's worth considering, but then we don't get to Renumori game one. Ah, uh, that's a great point, Luca. Mm hmm. It's nice having kind of an extra card. Ow. Why do you have to have so many removal scrolls? Seriously? Not exactly what I needed. Nerdine says, I think the deck runs a companion that prevents that, does it not? Yes, exactly. The more it prevents anything but, uh, but creatures in this version. Will was saying, I was typing keep back the elves, but I didn't type fast enough. If I remember, Will, you're on a little bit of a, a, a time lag given distance, so uh, not, not a problem. You're not digging this control, are you, Dana? Why do you think I would be dead? Just saying. Think, take action. Okay. Will says, yeah, very true. It's that damn ocean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of distance. Miller says, Ether Gust is such a troll. Did you want to have a draw step? 
Will says, yeah, even in standard Jessica, you're cool, so just so dull to be against. Yes, I can tell by your face, Dana, you're not, <laughs> you're not amused. No. Is this true? No. Your head's even popping off camera a little. I, uh, mm. It is this control deck. Oh, Lazy Destroyer followed us. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you. Rocket Man says, well, that's easier said than done, but Clarion was never shown before, and arguably it would have been very close to the turn after being lethal. Yeah, I think, I think that definitely was just a tough one. I do think Clarion would have been a reasonable guess, guess though, and... You know, maybe that's something for the future, right, Dana? Mm -hmm. Like, think about the cards that could be there they might lose to. Want to keep going? Yeah. All right. What is it, two and one so far? Yep. For the day? Mm -hmm. Actually, four and one for the day. Oh, yeah. Two and one for the ones. stream. Two and one for the stream, so that's all good. More snacks. I'm hungry, okay? You want me to control while you eat? Oh, uh, sure, but, or at least while I open them. But it's easier. But yeah, you can control it. While you eat? Yeah. Kind of like when uh, I shuffle? Play fair. Will says you're doing well. I don't count losing to that kind of deck. <laughs> I like this hand. Okay. What's our first play? Pelt Collector. Thinking about something. <laughs> Lotus Miller says, imagine playing more than one color. Can't relate. Mm. Health collector? Yep. You said? Mm -hmm. Will says, I'm struggling to get off the bottom of platinum right now in standard. Mm. I'm bronze. But round one. Well, you also haven't hardly played. Yeah. What do you think, Dana? We're at the beginning of the the month still. Do you think you want to try and uh, maybe rank? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that is good. Okay. You never really tried to grind on uh, unconstructed rank in arena, huh? Yeah, no. Just bring out playing different stuff. Luka Jack says, I was one win from Mythic for the past two days. I just gave up and started playing Vintage Cube. Wow. But it's early in the season. <laughs> okay. What do we play? Or what do we do? Attack and the three drops. <laughs> or the one drop. Okay. And Luca, also, you were what, number seven in Mythic last season, I think? So. Neodyne says, Rocketman says you'll get there. Neodyne says, that's awesome, Luca. Rocketman says, I'm actually running a mono green list in standard. Yay. All right. The three one drops. Now, do we worry about the Clarion or something like that? We don't know. We could try it. We could just go for it. I think we go for it. You think we go for it? Okay.
Not a clear yet. <laughs> not even close. Although I don't like that card. Might be a bad idea. Okay, what do you, what do you think we do? Land. Paradise Druid. What do we attack? Paradise no, Druid? Oh, yeah, to get the Pell Collector, yep. One attacks to bury, the other three go at him. Yeah? Mm hmm. Okay. Now what? We just need not a sweeper. Well, so at the moment I'm trying to build the most optimal death touch tribal. It's so fun and I've seen so many variants on Golgari right now, but Michael Sultai for cloning the hooded blight things and some other useful spells. That is true with that with that guy. You know what Cardi's talking about? The one that gives all the death touchers draining life. Oh yeah. Death touch tribal. Neodyne says, <coughs> that's, um, that's a lot of Teferis running around. And Lucas said, Sultai could also be good for some mystical disputes and ether gusts. In the Death Touch Tribal. Mm -hmm. By the way, Lautus Miller saw, uh, don't know if we shouted out, thank you for the follow a little while back. Same with... Uh, Malaika, I think is uh, mm -hmm. how you say it. And Rocket Man, appreciate it. Yeah. Rocket Man says, you got it. Should be scoop soon, hopefully. Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure what our opponent is considering. Maybe they have a bad connection though. They could. Because they do seem to be running out of time. Yeah. Okay. okay. We, what do we do, Dana? All in. All in? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's probably dead. <laughs> you think? Uh-huh. Well, it's still dead. Lotus Bill is just splashed to ferry off of two paradise droids. Never. Never in the world would I do that. No, no Teferi? No. Although, I don't know, Dana, the other day on stream, you're, uh, you, you did draft a mill deck. Don't remind me. That was that. rather uncharacteristic of you. Rocket Man said they probably rage quit. Could have been. Do you know what rage quit means, Dana? No. <laughs> means like you just like get so upset and angry you just quit. You're like, God, I've had it. He's dead. Well, says, so how dare you suggest such behavior? I don't know if he's talking about the rage quitting or the running to fairies. <laughs> oh, near dying says draft doesn't count. So. Hey, Daddy. All right, what do you think here, Dana? Oh, you're done with your snack? Mm hmm. Hmm. Seems like a control deck. Okay. What do you think of the idea of the Harbingers just in something that can get a bunch of van kind of because this is kind of maybe similar to the last one deck, huh? Yeah. That you played against? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Will was referring to running to fairies. Oh, how dare you suggest such behavior? <laughs> Out of paradise, maybe maybe take out both paradise droids and put in a perfect or something. Yeah, I kind of like the. Oh, oh. I kind of do like the pell collectors though. But it's fair because they are some something early where you can just be beaten down. Yeah. But 
maybe there's a connection issue. <laughs> or maybe there's just, it hasn't been all that long. Yeah. So what do you think, Dana? Do you want to, uh, you think you want to be playing this historic deck the whole stream? You want to switch it up? You want to see what chat thinks? Yeah, I mean, if you guys want, I could also do um, some standard. Um, it's going to be a blue-green Nissa um, Ugin Ramp deck um, if we play standard. Or we can just keep doing this, which is fine as well. I know earlier you talked about doing a seal, although you did that on some other streams. Yeah. So, yeah, let's hear from people. If you have any uh, you know, requests, we can kind of do whatever. Will says, uh, don't hate me, but I made a standard Azorius deck today. I made a try hard. Oh, what the? Apparently I, I not. Think they, I think they conceded. Oh, I'm silver four now. Andy uh, Sugiyama said, how are you guys doing this fine day? Uh, pretty well, We're pretty doing, well. Thank you for asking. Thank you for joining us. Happy 4th of July, too. Yes, happy 4th to everyone. You want to do another one? Yep. Okay. And then PJ River asked, could you run a magic after school club at your school? I wish. They don't really have after school clubs in fourth grade though, right? They do not in elementary yeah. school. Although in my sister's middle school, there is a magic the gathering club. Yes, that's true. <laughs> but I do have to wait a few years. So in a little over two years, when Dana's in middle school, you actually even already talked about starting a magic club, right? Oh yeah, if I could at in middle school, if I could at my school, I would. Yeah, <clears throat> they don't really have. I'd that. be the teacher too, because I don't. I wouldn't oh. need it. Near Diana says, "Oh, what's fourth the day of?" Remember, people from all countries here. Oh Dana. yeah, it's uh, Independence Day here in America. Yeah. Thank you, oh, slice, slice of Scott. Oh, slice of Scott! Thank you for the subscription. The pop-up uh, is working like a charm. Yeah. Thanks Thank you so much. As well. It's always fun seeing the pop-up. We appreciate the support. What do you think? I like this. Okay. Will says, we don't have 4th of July here. Today is another Saturday for us. <laughs> do you remember where Will's? Yeah, UK. From? Yeah, exactly. So, yes, we have people from all over. Joseph Hill says, Happy 4th of July. Lotus Miller says, Where are you all from? San Diego. Yeah. We're in San Diego. People on chat are, are all over. Yeah. Oh, PJ Rivers. Oh, my also pants UK. are ghosting. My pants are ghosting a little bit. Your pants are ghosting? <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. They're green, but they're kind of a dark green. They're very dark green. That's okay. I can see your face, so it's something. Yeah, unless Rocket I... Man says that was an awesome overlay. Thank you, Rocket Man. We actually we actually uh, have to owe that to um, Duncan can't die. Yes, Duncan can't die. He's a streamer. He's doing some magic. He's doing some Pokemon and some other stuff. Um, he's helped us get set up with a lot of the the streaming hardware, software, navigating issues of Dana being under thirteen, all that kind of stuff. So. It can be hard being under 13 sometimes. Yeah. So. But also, you do not want me being because you're afraid of That's true. Creatures. Slice of Scott says, I'm horrible at magic. Need to learn by watching a pro. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you. Um, Dana is still kind of learning through this deck, although it's definitely a style she's familiar with, right? Yes. And we actually do have to, for the deck list and a lot of the tips, give credit to uh, Luca Jack, um, who at least was in chat. I think he still is. Yeah. Uh, Luca, who um, made uh, seventh in Mythic, ranked right? yes. number seven in Mythic uh, last season, playing Historic. Not Elves, but. But we'll try to talk through and have a nice interactive uh, stream, and hopefully everyone can learn something. Yeah. Will says, you'll learn to elf like a Dana. <laughs> oh, thank you. Unfortunately, we didn't have as many events this year, but I did manage to cash one of them. And day two, two of them. And you day two, two out of three. So I had a good year so for that the short was a pretty, year I had. Yes. Good part of that short year, at least. Yep. Growl at me. 
Was the doggy growling at you? Yeah, it was. This is definitely a life game deck. Oh, Nerd Dines from Argentina. Lots of is from Oregon. PGH Runners from Washington, D.C. Oh, people from all over. Very cool. That's perfect. It's kind of rude. It is. It's not kind of. Well, and I'm beating him Lucas down. Lucas says I'm from Hawaii. Ah, yeah. My, I think uh, we saw that in your profile, actually. Yeah. My uh, mom uh, really wants to go to Hawaii again. I went there when I was uh, six. Um, my mom has a lot of friends there. She wants to go there. She likes it a lot. So. Will says, I hereby promise to subscribe to you next month as I have a big car bill this month. Mm. Well, thank you, Will. Thank you. But just do what you whatever you'd like is fine. No obligation. We're just here having a good time. Yep. Do I actually just win if I all out? He blocks there to Four, five. Oh, so close. Did you do it anyway? I don't think the creatures matter that much, right? Yeah. But he goes to one. PGA Toronto says, I was stationed at Camp Pendleton, California a while back. It's near San Diego. That's correct. Do you know what Camp Pendleton is, Dana? No, I don't actually. Do you have any idea? Nope. You, we pass it when we drive up north towards Los Angeles. Uh, it's sure. probably like 45 minutes from here, maybe even just a half hour, something like that. Mm. So, not too far. Yeah. So, yeah, so you know the area. How much does it cost to activate the resplendent angel? Six. Six. It's five. Mm -hmm. I just think I'm gonna go out. Okay. Cause I do Try win. That. Like I mean you can activate that. Yeah. So Life game close. is so annoying. So close. Life game is so annoying. Lauders Miller says life game is cheap. It's so annoying. Oh, now they have six mana. Will says be right back. It's 12.45 a.m. and I need a glass of milk. <laughs> you weren't up that uh, far away from 12.45 last night. I think I you're up to like 11.30, right? Yeah, 11.30. But tell I people went what you were doing? Yeah, I actually went to a friend's house um, to watch Star Wars outside because I haven't, I mean, I've seen one of the movies when I was three, so I don't remember anything. Um, so um, we were watching the Star Wars movies from the beginning with some friends. For like one one movie a week with a projector and a screen outside. Seriously, I'm so getting flooded. He can activate that, which means then he'll gain five life. Let's see, so he'll gain five, right? Yeah, go up to six. Okay. Oh no, he's dead. I think he's still dead. Well, you can also create a little. Um, Thing with Donna Pope, right? 
No, he can't. He can't do both. He can't do both, but I'm just saying, he can alternatively do that. Do that. Then he uh, gains two, one, two. What do you think? Um, three life, going up to four, going block, block, back down to one, seriously. But then both his things will have to die. So I like that. Okay. So PJ Rivers says if you tried other card games like Pokemon or Hearthstone. I ha I did a little bit of Pokemon when I was three. Um, a little bit during Magic and before. Yep. Um, I also have done a little bit of Hearthstone, but don't remember much at all. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. You play some Legends of Runeterra, though. I do play lots of Legends of Runeterra and TFT. You play a lot of TFT, which well, a lot of card game has a lot of similarities. Yes, lots of... Magic's still the main game, but there's definitely other things, too. Well, he's dead. Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah, I think they, they would have... They would have lived by creating the Dawn of Hope. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't have, have been, been good for them, no. No. And life then, uh, gain deck. There's nothing there to stop the life gain. There's really nothing here to stop the life gain. Okay. What do you think? Maybe just beat him down, so maybe a harbinger. Oh, no, no, no. Thrashing Brontodon. He has quite a bit of He's enchantments. He's a lot of enchantments. The Rex Sages, too, maybe? Oh, yeah. Bye bye, Beast Whisperer. And what else do you think? I don't know, maybe a couple of your posts. Okay. Maybe the visionaries? Yeah. Aren't as exciting. Maybe Paradise. the British. That's good. And let's see, we didn't bring in any uh, non, non creatures. Do you no. want to? I'm just wondering too. Is Ramther worth it to get rid of that, like, Splendid Angel thing? Or. Not worry about it and just have Not the money still. Not worry about it. Okay, fair. So Rocket Man says, that's awesome. I'm doing the same thing with my daughter, just inside. I'm going to stick around and lurk in the background. <laughs> that's cool, Rocket Man. How, how old is your uh, daughter, by the way? Dana is nine, almost ten. Ten later this month. And, um, yeah, we did it outside because, you know, they are some friends and we're being socially safe and socially distant, so uh, therefore we do the whole outside thing. But it's actually kind of cool outside, huh? Yeah, it is. Oh, you didn't get bitten last night, did you? I had bug repellent. Yeah. Right, last time, the first time I got oh. triple bug, bug bites um, all down here, or, or bug bites. Three on this side and another on this side. Oh, by the way, Welcome everyone. We uh, 24 viewers actually, Dana. Oh, thank so, you. So very cool. Thank you. Glad you could join. We're doing some historic elves. Rocket Man says I have to clean up from dinner. PJ Turner says that's really cool. How are you like in the movies thus far? I was supposed to get married. I'm the bride on May 4th this year, but it was quarantined till next year. Yeah, that sucks. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Well, my hand is Lord's. It is Lord's. I think Imperius Perfect. Okay. So how are you liking the movies thus far, Dana? You actually rated the movies, right? Yeah, um, and I went through 10. I think the first, we've only watched the two of them. Um, but I think episodes one and two. Yes, episodes one and two. Um, and I think the f number one is like a seven. It's pretty good. And then number two isn't as good. I think it's about a five or something around there. And then Andy says, "Meant I meant to say hi to you guys in GP Portland. At least I think it was Portland. 
but I was too busy judging and never found a chance. I wanted to congratulate you on making day two of a, G, of a GP, though I realize it's a bit late at this point. Thank you. Well, thank you, nonetheless. Yeah, thank you. And you know what? There'll be more GPs in Magic Fest at some point, and, uh, you know, would love to say hi. Loggers Miller asks, ever tried playing Legacy Elves? I have, actually. Yep. I did it in one of the Seattles. 2018, I think it was? Mm-hmm. So, played it then. There just isn't as many events there, but... Would you like to play more Legacy? Yeah. Oh, come on! I just played Yorvo to get the pacifism off my Yorvo, and then he plays another pacifism, of course. That's kind of annoying. He's very annoying, Daddy. Rocket Man says she is the same. She turns 10 in January. Uh, oh, very uh, cool. And since we finished yeah, episodes six months apart. one to three, and want to watch Rogue One before we move to episode four. Yeah, we haven't talked about Dana. That's a good point. We should oh my ask God, Nick so and Chosie. Oh so many pacifisms. <laughs> There's a lot. But I do have a lot. We have a lot of lords. I have a ton of lords. Yeah, we haven't talked. We're doing some friends who are actually pretty uh, uh, good Star Wars aficionados. Um, yeah, they what? They like know every single word of every single. Yeah, we Star haven't Wars. talked about the non, you know, the sort of spin-off movies, where those fit in, when those fit in. Um, we should ask them. That's a good point. I'll actually make a note of that. Um, but that is a good good point. When those fit in to the rest of the episodes. Well, since I'm back, decided to go for apple juice instead of milk because it's green. I don't think apple juice is actually green. It's orange. Well, but, but apples can be green, right? Oh, look at that! I have triple Imperius Perfect on yeah, the Yeah, I had a lot of Plus another in my hand and two clan cars. And I'm now silver rank three. We are okay. climbing in the ranks. There you go. Want to keep going? Yeah. If everyone in chat has something else they suggest, please feel free. Otherwise, yeah, like if you it want sounds good, right? Yeah, if you want to play standard, I'm fine doing that too. And, I uh, oh, we're up to, uh, 28 viewers now. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Glad you could join. We're having some fun with some historic elves. Yeah. List and tips, courtesy of uh, Luca, Luca Jack, Jack here. Yep. And Rocketman says, how do you think about Jar Jar? There's a lot of older folks here who have strong feelings about the character. I think that he's not the best character, but he is very funny. He's Overall, very Overall, you kind of liked him, but even though you think he's kind of um, not the brightest, huh? <laughs> but he's very funny the way he speaks. Will says, I run a Star Wars gaming page with nearly 2,000 people, and I understand people have issues, but when I see all the film as a whole, I love them all. Mm. That's cool. Lauder Smeller says, I kind of want to see elves versus goblins in historic. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. They will face off yeah, against no. goblins. Yeah, this one doesn't seem. This one's fine. Okay. I don't know what's a disc or what's a bottom. Oh, Lucas says if you want, we can direct challenge each other, Dana. Oh. We can play goblins. Yeah, I would like that after this, okay. maybe. Yeah. But first, what do I you bottom? Good with that? Okay. I have no idea what to bottom. No. I don't want to bottom that for anything. Hmm. I don't know. What, what do you think of the matchup? What? I don't know what the Oh, this is game is. one. You're right. This is game one, Dad. So never mind. Hmm. I don't know. The... Your choice. That's actually really annoying. It's pretty annoying. Why have like all my opponents been playing blue?
This is like blue Draco. Will says, uh, if anyone here has heard of X-Wing Miniatures, that's what my group is about. We raise money for charity ah. when I host tournaments. My page is called X-Wing Ready Room. Hence my Twitch name, Will Ready Room. Oh, very cool. Thank you, Will. Learned all kinds of stuff about you. And yeah, plus, you have to talk about this stuff. PJ Weber says, mono blue. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Me too. I'm with you. Well, Luca, if you are up for doing goblins, um, I just actually messaged you uh, Dana's um, arena name so you can feel free to connect up. Chamber Guardian and two Wildwood Trackers. Okay. Seriously? This guy just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> it might have been the right thing to do the trackers first. I don't care about them as much. Oh, yeah. But. And they're drawing all kinds of cards. I know! Okay. Okay. I think I played this. Yeah, are you going to play the elves as well? And do you want to do that? If so, do you want to do that first? Or what do you think? I mean, they probably won't count that. Wasn't able to trick him. <laughs> Lotus Miller says main deck either gust. I hope not. It was like the uh, mono blue. Flyer's deck in standard, huh? Yeah! It's a lot of cards, Dana. I know, Daddy. I know. <laughs> and I don't like it. Ooh, that was not the worst. Just don't counter it, please. Please don't counter it, please don't well, they, counter it. They have been drawing a lot of cards. Please don't count. Also, my cast didn't say please because I did say well, please. Do you want it? I was going to say, do you want every one of the, the tracker? But everyone can work. Just worth thinking about. I have to erase it. Um, you're dead. Uh, oh. I but not that you, you couldn't do anything about it. Will says, my Zorius main deck's Gus. Bill. Yeah, Gus can be a good card. Flyers. Ran through. I, I, I do think that makes sense. Well, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got to take that out. Yeah. I thought you were going to submit. I'm like, wait, wait. <laughs> Maybe a Rex Siege or Threshing Brontodon. He did have the Curious Obsession. So, but now nah, actually, and then take out maybe a Yorvo. Well, but is it maybe? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of counters and stuff. I don't know if like visionary is that useful in this matchup. Oop. Bob. But, I like this. Do you like the Harbinger to get in there, by the way, at all? I mean, again, these are all just thoughts. I like maybe one. Okay. 
Yeah, I like this. So you're going to try and just kill the flyers? Yep. As opposed to... Uh... Lotus Miller says, no four mana pro blue dino inside. Nah. Yeah, this, this deck sort of, you know, more focuses on just having very, very few things that cost more than three. But it's certainly a fair point. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Firebird Twins uh, just followed us. Thank you, Firebird Twins. Thank you. Lotus Miller says, just run four of those and you'll never lose to Mono Blue again. That is true. They're very, very good. I think, uh, I don't know how, I was looking up some of the data on the historic metagame. It definitely seems pretty broad. I don't know how much, you know, Mono Blue. I definitely saw um, there's Gruul seem to be the this? most common. What do you think? I don't think so. Doesn't seem very exciting. Oh. Uh. Land. Well, says so basically I'm trying to figure out in standard whether to fully invent, fully invest, I think, in a veto deck, a death touch deck, or full control. I know which two of those are more fun, <laughs> but if I want to be competitive. Yeah, there can be a balance between fun and competitive. Abram says that he's going to go live. Would you mind rating when we finish? Yeah. We could try that. Yeah, we, we haven't try. done it before, but willing to experiment. Um, for sure. For those of you who don't know, Abram's a very, very good player, limited specialist, close but friend. really does a lot of uh, good stuff. And, and a very close friend. Close friend. Dana and uh, Abram did a limited set review. That's on Dana's YouTube channel at Dana Fisher MTG. Um, if you want to check that out, it was in two parts going through every card. So. Can, we can highly recommend Abram, right? Yes. I like playing Imperius Perfect to get in there. Nerdang says, oh, I saw that video. Oh, very cool. Uh, Jesse Fuller Music says, hi, Dana, if you'd be so kind as to use they pronouns when referring to your unknown opponents, it would mean a lot. Ah. That is totally fair. Yes. I sometimes forget that, and you're absolutely right. Thank you for the reminder. That makes sense, right, Dana? Mm -hmm. well, let's play this in attack. Okay. Near Dice says the videos were very helpful. We're glad you found them of use. Oh, come on. Can I sell really? Oh. I think I play this. Attack with everything but the perfect. Attack with these. Two. Okay. Oh wait no. Perfect gets in there. Perfect gets in there. Yeah. He's dead. Alright, we can do that. Andy says, uh, Will, it's difficult but never impossible to bring competitive jank. I learned that when my friend made top eight at a GP by donating demonic packs to opponent while harmless offering. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Will says, Andy, that's just funny. Guess he's not dead. No. And my parents perfect goes. Wait, wait, oh, wait. wait, he is dead. You do that, right? He has blocked this. Unless he has something else. He must have something else, right? Oh, 
They might have something else. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But you can play it back out, right? Yep. Well, since I might try to combine Hooded Blight Fang with Vito in some way, it might be funny. Sparks doubling Vito before swinging with a few Death Touch. All in on that Death Touch theme. This deck as it is. Yeah? You, you, any, any hate for the curious obsessions or nope? Just keep it as it is. Boop. All right. Fair enough. It's going pretty well, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, you're getting a lot of, a lot of viewers today. At uh, yeah. 27, still almost in the... 30 so definitely thank you everyone for joining yeah good to have you oh i like this doesn't seem bad all right Turn one landing is always good, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's always fun times. Always. Really getting all the clicking around. Hey, it's fun and satisfying. Will says, random question, do you have planned to have a P.O. box? Um, short answer is no, but <laughs> open, I guess, if they say no. If, if, if the need comes up. What? Oh, okay. Okay. They conceded. I guess they didn't have enough to. Do you even know what a P.O. box is, Daniel? Nope. So P.O. Box, see Dana gets to learn all kinds of stuff on the stream. Oh, is this uh, Luca? You want to play Luca with goblins? Yep. Uh, no. um. Luca says, sure, let's play. So a P.O. Box, so all kinds of good stuff you have to learn. That's where some people can mail you things, but it's not like at your home address. Uh. So it's a way you can receive things without like giving away your home address. And we just haven't really had the need so far, but if you have any thoughts, Will, we're, uh, you know, we're kind of learning all this stuff. Oh, I think you both created a challenge. Oh. Elves versus goblins. Okay, this is classic. I don't think I don't think Luca is going to give you tips in this one. I don't think. <laughs> I don't blame him. To be fair. Yeah.
<laughs> so, Lotus Miller says, everyone mail Dana a playset of Lanowar Elves. That is very kind of you. Although, Dana, do you want to talk about how many Lanowar Elves you have? More than a whole deck? <laughs> I have, like, I have probably a hundred. You might. Yeah, it, Dana was given, Dana had a bunch from before. And was it Liam, by the way? Your friend Liam? Yeah, my friend Liam got, but um, someone was just giving out a free um, deck of Lana Worlds. It was 60 Lana Worlds. Yeah, it was a lot. You can actually see them in the preview video on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you want to see that, I can probably even uh, find that link pretty quick. <laughs> Near Dying says, what I'm hearing here is not enough. <laughs> and Lucas, I'm going to close the stream now. Good luck, have fun. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. And Will says, yeah, P.O. Box allows you to receive cool stuff from fans. Tons of YouTubers do it. I sent something to Alpha Investments one. It's a good thought. Thank you for the idea. Should have done the pelt collector before the steel leaf. Ah. And then Will says, now that he's gone, kick him in the butt, please. Escos says, is this historic elves? Yes, it is. We're it trying is. something a little bit different. Luca Jack, uh, we actually suggested the list and he gave a bunch of tips. And he's now we're actually, playing. And uh, now playing. We're uh, uh, challenge. Elves versus is, uh, goblins. Yeah. Oh, man. Neodyne says, uh, yeah, I want to send you weird Latin American candy. Well, Dana does like candy. I love candy. All right. Last night, I was just chomping on candy all night. See, we're getting all kinds of good ideas from chat here. Mm -hmm. P.O. Box, when to watch Star Wars Rogue One in the sequence, lots of things. <laughs> Lucas is nice. And thank you, Near Dines, for the thought. Okay, that is just me. It got death touch. Sometimes yes. he just wiped. Yep, sure did. Sure did. At least for Luca, it's kind of a win-win, right? Yeah. Either he wins or... Well, like, here's, his deck wins either way. Yeah. Will says, I can send you some British sweets candy. Ooh. I don't know if we talked about it before, Will knows, but you've, you've been to the UK. I have. I went to uh, GP Leon, but we went many different places as a two-week family trip. Owie, and I think I'm good. I'm ready to show I'm dead. <laughs> Lotus Miller says, Judge, my opponent isn't playing magic as Garfield intended. Have you heard that phrase before? Whenever like, you do something that's just too powerful, weird, or whatever, it's like, that's not magic as Richard Garfield intended. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Oh, it was just a best of one. Yeah, it was just... Oh, I, I, I thought it might be a... Uh, you, want, you, you want to try another one? Yeah. You know, this is a big rivalry, right? Elves, Elves versus goblins. goblins. Elves are better! Oops. 
accidentally <laughs> banged my mouse. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> when I was just putting my hand down. Lucas said, wow, what a game one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. DJ River asked, did you meet Guillaume Matignon? I used to play magic with him in France. Former Magic World champ, if you don't know him. Uh, I don't we did I not did. need him, I don't think. Well, you did on that trip get to hang out a lot with uh, uh, Nadine, right? Miss Cosplay. Miss Cosplay. Yeah, Miss Cosplay. You can't have all the uh, Gorvos. I kind of do. Well, says I could send you uh, kinder, kinder. I'm not. I think kinder eggs, which I know are allowed to be sold in America. Others allowed or not allowed, actually. I remember hearing yeah. something about those. I don't know what those are. They're like, like, I think they're like chocolate eggs, I think. I don't know. Will could tell us a lot better. I love chocolate. Yeah, that's fair. Let's see, what are you, what are you I'm playing this in Wild with Chocolate and attacking my UFO. What do you want to attack with the bow? Oh, yeah, I'm going to attack with both. Well. But you want to get bigger. Oh, I see. You mean you're okay. okay. So maybe not the big chamber then? Or something. All right. Smash for Will six. Well, said aren't allowed. Oh, now I'm curious. <laughs> oh my god. You always do research, don't you? Ah, they were banned. So kind of were banned. Because they had a toy inside and it was sort of dangerous. But now I think they are coming. Ah, no, there's a different variant ah. that are sold in the US, but the original ones are still banned. Kinder, Kinder is how you say it, okay. Mm. Kinder eggs, chocolate eggs with capsules inside containing a random toy, okay. Yes, and they are still the original ones. Look like sure, you can kill my UFO just so that I do have another one. Oh, yeah, he kills the steel leaf. Do you want to pump those pieces of the door? He's got a lot of mana. Hey, oh it wasn't the Chain Whirler, though. Yeah. To be fair. I think I'll win. Wait, wait, wait. Did you play stuff to make more go bigger? It doesn't exactly matter. He's just block gonna block me. Probably not. And it does have death touch, which is annoying. Although Pell Collector could be nice, because if you... Oh, right. Good point, Dana. Next combat. Because that way it'll at least get bigger, right? Yep. That's really annoying too, because he's gonna be able to kill two things thanks to that death touch. Oh no, just one thing. Sorry. You can choose. Then maybe another Yorvo? Because yeah. it's another Yorvo. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Oh, come on. Well, no, but this is. It, he doesn't have the death touch thing. Yeah, that's good. 
Oh, and he doesn't have card scissors. Clan color's nice. Big things for chamber. We we we. Big 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 thing. Okay, if you can bring back that chain whirler, you're in trouble. Otherwise, I think you're okay. <laughs> He's probably gonna find the chain whirler. Oh, words. There you go. I knew Elves could do it. Now, do you want to do one more as a tiebreaker? Yep. Okay. And uh, Valentine, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate thank you. it. PJ Rivers says, "What player was the most surprised by your level of play, and what did he say?" I honestly don't know. <laughs> Dana probably doesn't remember a whole lot of this, actually. But I would say Lucas says, "Good luck. Good luck to you, Luca." Good luck. Um, I would probably say the people that were most surprised were at the very, very beginning um, when Dana started going to events when, when I was, she was five. five. Um, and uh, and then six, and there, people were generally pretty surprised, um, just because Dana also was small for her age, so we can be I'm small very, and young. I'm very, very small for my age. Yeah, so uh, although I've gotten bigger, I'm never gonna small. That's true. That's true. You still are small for your age. I still am. But yes, so it was just kind of general there at that age, and due to her size and all that, um, people were a little, you know, just a little taken aback. Um, to be honest, though, once Dana just started going to more events and people would recognize her because she'd been to a lot of events and they'd seen her before, or they'd seen her on coverage, that kind of tended to go away. So nothing really stood out. But it's a good question. Yeah. All right, Dana, what do you think of your position in this game here? Well, but you got your card off the missionary. Yeah. And Ooh, he can't. Okay, what do you think? Attack. Okay. Get in there. Hi. Yup. 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 Beast whisper. Beast whisper. And then Luca has to uh, probably answer that. Yeah, because otherwise I get so much card advantage. So let's see. Will says yes, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. PJ Rivers says, thanks. It's very cool to be able to chat with you. Well, thank you, PJ, for, for joining. We like to keep it interactive. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. But he can't be blocked. No. So the next turn I go boom boom. Ooh. Oh. Well, Falcolaster gets bigger. And you have another steel leaf. Yeah. And your beast whisper lives. So it's not all bad. But that was pretty good value still. It was. I don't know, maybe he will be killing by sacking a bunch of goblins. Yeah, he might. He might be killing the beast first first. Oh, he has another jump on the sooner. A health collector gets really big. Will says, it's the same for me in X-Wing Miniatures. I love it when I use, lose to a young player. I've been doing it for so long and I got to see many players as young as Dana over a year or so become really competitive good players of the game. Mm. Yeah, thank That's you, Will. Cool. It's definitely cool. We, we always like seeing other kids at events and 
Dana especially loves seeking them out and become a lot of good friends with them. Yes, definitely. Also, my pell collector is small. Your pell collector is not small. Neither is my beast whisperer. Okay. I think you're getting it. Yep. Get in there. He has to block. Will says magic is far more complex interaction wise, though. Magic can be a complex game. This is very true. Uh oh. Luke is looking at the graveyard. Does he have a chain whirler in there? Uh, yes, he does. Oh, he has no. Oh, he has no. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Oh, what do you think here, Dana? Pell collector? Okay. I like that. Get in there. Don't do It's up to you. There's a lot of good options here. No, I want to just get in there now. Okay. Not the perfect. Just with these. Or wait, do I get in with all of these? No, you can just block all of them. Well, you can also do a lot of like Double. heavy mana to sack goblins. Oh, yeah. I think I still attack with these. Sure. Well, we may have wanted to cast actually before attacking with Beast Whisperer, but. Oh, yeah. Because he might Probably. Yeah. Other, but, yep. but he's also got to deal with that Pell Collector, so he might have to focus more on that. Teach Game Commander, I remember playing with that card. It is a scary card. Yeah, it is. Next to damage. My clan caller. Yep. No. Yep. Perfect in response to create maybe a one one. And by casting stuff though. Yeah. Sora Markov, fifty four followed followed us. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. Will says, I think he's gonna. Uh, going to have to run out of steam now. Yeah, that's probably true. That was definitely good, but... Um... Yeah, the Beast Whispers allowed you to just run away with yeah. things. Yeah. Soren Markov 54 says, hi, Dana. 